So today we will discuss about the various so prominent alloy steels. So first alloy steel is the silicon steel. Uh, so composition of silicon steel is a point one percent carbon, one percent silicon, and point six percent manganese. Then the properties of silicon steel are it has a high strength and fatigue uh, resistance. Then it has a improved electrical uh, properties. then it is a stronger steel so the applications of uh, silicon steel is uh, bridges structures etc used in the con construction industry so this is the first type of alloy steel second is a nickel steel it contains uh, 0.35% carbon 3.5% nickel so the properties are it has increased strength low temperature applications then uh, applications are strong liquefied gases heavy forgings turbine blades etc next alloy steel is a molybdenum steel so it contains 0.35% carbon and 0.76% molybdenum then properties are increased elastic limit improved hot hardness and strength then it is uh, unaffected by temper brittleness the application of these molybdenum alloy steel are aircraft landing gears lift ring pressure vessels etc next one is a uh, manganese steel so it contains uh, 0.18 to 0.48 percent carbon in 1.6 to 1.9 percent manganese 0.2 to 0.35 percent silicon in 0.04 percent sulfur and 0.04% phosphorus then the properties of manganese steel are increase the hardness tensile strength and resistance to abrasion it to withstand shock excellence steel then the applications of manganese steel are grinding and crushing machinery railway tracks plus the applications are grinding and crushing machinery railway tracks power shovel buckets next alloy steel is a chrome nickel steel which contains 0.35% carbon 1.25% nickel then 0.6% chromium the properties are it has a increased toughness and ductility improved hardenability and wear resistance then the applications of chrome steel are excellent crankshaft aircraft and heavy vehicle components then highly sh stressed shafts and gears etc next is a tungsten steel so it contains 0.5% carbon 2 to 15% uh, tungsten and 1.7 chromium the properties are uh, hard and tough then it sustain high temperatures then the applications are excellent crankshafts not excellent crankshaft the applications are high speed cutting tools permanent magnets etc next is a classification of alloy steel so first is a free cutting steel so these steels can be machined or cut with a fast speed because of their high machinability and hence known as free cutting steel uh low carbon steel produces the rough surface and responsible for hitting the tools so magnesium sulfur and phosphorus are added to improve the machinability magnesium combines with the sulfur and favors chip formation and also increases the hardness and strength phosphorus also combines with iron and favors chip formation sulfur and phosphorus are present in 0.6 to 0.12% while magnesium is a 5 to 8 times to the amount of sulfur so in high carbon steel lead is added in 0.35% to increase machinability 
next is a high strength or low alloy steel that is a s h s l a so it contains 0.072.13% carbon with a 5% aluminum then these steel shows a good ductility malleability formability toughness and weldability property because its strength increases up to 50 to 80 kg per mm square and widely used in the automotive industry the elements are added in lower percentage less than 5% to increase the strength or hardenability or in large percentage so to achieve the special properties such as corrosion resistance next is a margin margin steel so these steels are which are also known as possessing the superior strength and toughness without losing malleability although they cannot hold a good cutting edge these steel contains 0.03% carbon 18.25% nickel 325% molybdenum then 328% cobalt 0.221.6% titanium and a small amount of aluminum these steel show strength up to 210 kg per mm square and used for special applications such as rocket engine components and pressure vessels due to the low carbon content margin steels have good machinability and offer good weldability due to high alloy content margin steels have a high hardenability the steels can be nitride to increase the case hardness and polish to fine surface finish so it is also used in the surgical components and hypodermic springs but it is not suitable for scalpel blades because of lack of carbon prevents it from the holding a good cutting edge next type of steel is a dual phase steel so these are the low carbon steel with the or without addition of the alloying elements these are obtained by heat treatment the steel is heated just above a1 temperature and rapidly cooled to the room temperature due to this uh, treatment the ferrite perlite microstructure is changed to the mixture of martensite depressed in the ferrite matrix the amount of martensite varies from 15 to 30% the microstructure is called as a dual phase structure this steel shows high tensile strength and widely used for the wheels bumpers disc door panels etc because of their better formability next is a creep resisting steel so these are the steels used for high temperature applications such as in thermal and hydro power plants because of their high temperature resistance oxidation resistance and corrosion resistance temperature resistance is increased by addition of tungsten molybdenum vanadium chromium and cobalt next one is a high temperature alloys that is a super alloys the strength of the steel increase with the increase in the carbon contents so the low carbon steel shows the good ductility formability weldability and low strength however the strength can be improved by addition of the small quantities of alloying elements these are called as a high strength low alloy steels so used for high temperature applications they have a good strength hardness wear resistance creep resistance and oxidation resistance next is a low expansion steels so these are the alloy of nickel and iron containing the uh, 36% nickel point or 2% uh, carbon and 0.5% manganese and balanced is iron this is called as invar contains 36% nickel 12% chromium and vanadium with the balance of iron these steel have a very low coefficient of expansion and it is widely used for the applications such as gauges tapes and micrometers next is alloy for heating elements so large number of heating devices such as furnace oven required special materials for conversion of electrical energy into heat so these uh, materials should have a high resistance to oxidation sufficient strength and good resistivity 
So nickel chromium alloy is suitable up to the temperature of 1150 degree Celsius. Iron chromium and aluminum alloy up to 1300 degree Celsius. Platinum up to 1480 degree Celsius. And molybdenum tungsten alloy can be used up to 1750 degree Celsius to 2500 degree Celsius. Next is a rail steel. So these steels shows a good combination of strength, ductility, high impact resistance and fatigue resistance. Medium carbon steel having a carbon in the range of 0.04 to 0.06% with a small addition of manganese and chromium up to 1% are used for making rails. So thank you for the watching different uh, types of the alloy steels.